quick unboxing. Um, I got something in the mail today. I've been waiting on it. And it's here. This is the E Hang Ghost Drone 2.0. Um, I got some stuff we need to discuss, but let's just get this out of this box and then I'll go from there. I was going to be getting something this week. This is it. Warranty information. Nice. like I was told it was. Okay, I'm not much into um, app-driven drones. I'm just not. Never have been. But, big but. I like big butts that cannot lie. But, this app that runs this thing is totally different than anything I've ever seen before. Um, there's so much you can do with just a push of the button really is pretty cool. I watched a lot of videos on this before I decided to go ahead and get it. Um, but the real reason I really was looking into it, I watched um, Brian's video, True Drone Reviews, who purchased one. It was not the, the VR edition. It was just the standard 4K camera one. And someone had asked him about a link to it. He he paid ninety nine dollars for it. I thought, man, I got to look into that. So I followed the link and I ended up finding this one, the VR edition with the headset for one hundred and fifty bucks. Now I watched a video earlier today when before this thing was even released. And they said it was going to be released in February of 2017. And they asked them, how much, you know, is this VR edition? And it was like $1,200 for that drone when it came out. I got this for 150 So, Brian, if this ends up being a turd, I'm blaming you. Because you're the reason why I ended up getting this watching your video. I mean, for 150 bucks, GPS, um, the VR setup, and there's just so much you can do through this app with just one touch of the button, waypoints, um, and also when you're in the VR, they call it the avatar mode or whatever. If you tilt your head up, the gimbal will go up, the camera will tilt up. You tilt your head down, the camera will tilt down. Um, so it's pretty cool, but what I was really impressed with in Brian's unboxing was the quality of which they packaged this thing. They went to a lot of work to package this thing neat, uh, neatly and nicely, so I'm hoping that the amount of time they took into packaging, they also focused that much energy into the internal parts of it, because the first one, from what I hear, had issues. And they said they went through and did a whole new, like, firmware and all kinds of stuff. Just kind of redid everything with it. <coughs> so, here's a picture of the app. Okay, it's waypoint mode, companion mode, 
mode, avatar mode, flight planning mode, social network, whatever I mean by that. Now. And another thing I heard is that what eHang does, as far as their warranty, they will replace this drone. If anything happens, they will replace it three times in the first year that you have it. So you can't you can't beat that. So all right, let's open this up and just kind of look at what you get in the box. I really wanted the black one, but they didn't have the black one in the VR edition. So I had to get this one. I gotta figure out something new with all this lighting and crap. Oh, come on. It doesn't want me to open it. I got that cut. Before you fly, educational campaign. Okie dokie. Alright. Well, we get several props, sets of props. I'm going to just go ahead and open one of these just to see. See, they take time in packaging this stuff really nice. Uh, white props. I thought I was going to get this colored props. But these are white. Let's see what's in the other box. You're right, Brian. Nothing ever goes back the way it came out. Brian, if you're watching this, sorry about your cello. Okay, and we got some of the other color props in here. So, sweet. So there's that. And they even send you a little toolkit. Little screwdriver. I don't know if you guys can see this. I don't even know what those are. Oh, some screws. I'll have to figure out what those go to. Dampening balls. Extra dampening balls. I'm not sure what this little looks like a. RP or R RMSA connector. I don't know what that's for. I'll have to look at the book. So you get your screwdriver, USB cable. This is for the charging brick. Probably prop guards. Prop guards, which I'm not going to use those. Put that down here. See how how nice just everything. The manual. And card so I'll go through all this paperwork yeah very very nice packaging setup
Still the goggles. I just don't know with my reading glasses and my eyesight how how these will work, but I've heard they're not really comfortable. But I don't care as long as they work and I can fly a TV. You got the 2.4 and the 5.8 antennas, small antennas in here. So, nice padding right here, though. They look like they're pretty nice. And what I may do, I watched this video where this other YouTuber went through the app step by step and just showed you everything that the app can do. So I may post that link so you can kind of see more what this is really able to do. Charging brick. And I guess I need to double check, but I'm pretty sure this thing had a like said it had a range of a thousand meters. Yeah, this is the charging brick. Just kind of slide the battery on there, one cable. USB here, I gotta figure out what that's for. Well, yeah. I don't even know if I'm doing this video right. If you're seeing everything, you need to be seeing. Nice charging brick. So let's take this out. You know, this feels like it's got some weight to it, which makes it feel good that it's sturdy. Man, I really would have liked to have gotten the black one. Yeah, this this feels heavy, like it's got weight to it, like it's sturdy. There's that camera. And the battery's in the front. Not very easy to get out. There you go. Oh, I don't like the looks of that already. It's swelled up. 450 milliamp. Yeah, I'm gonna have to talk to him about that already. That slowed up a little bit. I don't think it's supposed to be like that. <laughs> Made in China. Supposedly just like the DJI button. Well, this is totally dead. But then how you charge it, just slide it right on there. Just like that. Now charge it. So. The E-Hang. I never had a drone where the motor's faced upside down like that. So. Yeah, this battery kind of concerns me. I don't know if you can see it, but it's kind of puffed up a little bit right here. Slowed up. I don't know if it's supposed to do that. I doubt it. Smart flight battery. Press twice and hold the power button. Press twice and hold the power button to turn off. 
battery can be charged on and off. It's just totally dead. So, all right. Well, that's the unboxing. Um, I'm, I'm really hoping for good things out of this drone from what I've seen. So, I'll keep you informed, keep you updated on how things go. So, there you go, the e -Hang Ghost 2.0. Alright, I appreciate you guys tuning in, and um, catch you later on. Drone Pool, signing out. All right, drone pool here. I'm gonna give you a quick update about this Ghost Drone 2 battery. So apparently, I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but this thing's puffed up. It won't even accept the charge. And apparently, these batteries have been sitting around in the drone in the box for a year. Okay, they put these out a year ago. So for a whole year this has been sitting in the drone, in a box, not being cycled, not being used, so it just doesn't equip to function. So I guess it's been a, a lot of people have had this problem apparently. So I went ahead and I got hold of eHang service through email. Surprisingly, they replied pretty quick. Um, I showed them proof of purchase. I showed them um, the number they wanted off this battery. I gave them a quick video clip. I took some pictures and sent them. And they said, okay, uh, send us your address and we'll get back with you. So that's where we're at. I sent them my address. I'm waiting to hear back. Hopefully they'll get me another drone or another battery. I really want to fly this drone so that's where I'm at just thought I'd let you know when I hear something I'll let you know all right that's it drone pool signing out